All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC, coming to you guys again with yet another creative. And I know it's a little weird to do a heater hype on a Saturday, but Bacardi Bull should be in the building for tomorrow, Sunday's video. But that's why we're doing the heater hype this time on a Saturday. So back to your regular intro. Listen, man, the weekend is almost over, so let's go ahead and hop into this week's heat or hype where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I wanna talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world. That is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or it was just that ba su ra that I did not want to expose y'all to it, but y'all know me just like every week. I'm gonna still expose you to it. Now this week at first, it was kind of slow, but then we got a lot of leaks, a lot of new info, and one big sneaker drop that should be coming out next year in 2020 that I definitely want, that I'm definitely gonna be going for, but we're gonna get into that in a little bit. So listen, let's go ahead, let's hop into the video, and let's get into this week's heat or hi. And before we get into the first shoe, I did want to also say your salutes to everyone copping stuff off of Bulls Bodega. If you buy anything throughout this weekend, I'm going to make sure to ship that out on Monday. I've been getting orders and orders and orders. If you're wondering where some of that off-white stuff is at, by the time this video goes live, it will be up on the site for those sub prices that I paid. So again, salutes to anyone that's copped anything off of Bulls Bodega. Now, let's go ahead and hop into this weekend's releases. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these. I'm just going to try to fly through them. First up, we got the Air Jordan 6 in the wash denim. These dropped on the 28th. The retail on these was 200. This time they dropped with no type of Levi's affiliation at all, which I'm assuming that kind of brought the price down from, I believe it was 225 for the fours or 250, wherever the case might've been. For me, I did not want this shoe. I passed on it and I passed on it because of the next two shoes we're gonna be talking about, the Ray Gun joints. The tie dye Ray Guns were number one this week. That was a shoe that I wanted. I'll just let y'all know a video will be on the way. Of course, I tried on Nike sneakers and you know, you know how it goes on sneakers, man. I cannot rely on that app at all. So no, I was not able to secure the black brown Nike sneakers, but luckily one of the homies actually came through. So when I do that video, you'll see it. And also after this video is done, if you have not peeped the latest clothing haul video, Go do that. That's where one of the Bread 11 giveaway winners was announced. And I also announced the other one on IG. So the Bread 11 winners were announced if you missed it. Now, in addition to that, you also had the KD12 and the Aunt Pearl or what the KD or what the Aunt Pearl colorway. Honestly, from Nike basketball, you guys know I don't cop a lot of stuff from them anymore as I used to. Just the energy like it used to be is just not there in my opinion, at least not for me. So this one I passed on. I I mean, if I bought these, they would definitely send the box. I would never ever wear the shoe. But as far as the actual shoe itself goes, I actually really, really dig them. And as you can see, there's different elements from different KD Aunt Pearls throughout the upper on the inside. It's just all over the place. And I, I would definitely say my favorite thing is from, I believe it was the KD6 or the KD7 where you have the wing strap that goes over the top of the shoe. That's definitely my favorite thing about them. And it's probably one of the dopest KD12 colorways to this day. This week, we also got a look at the brand new Air Jordan 1 Chinese New Year. Now, these are supposed to be dropping in February of 2020. It is a, once again, Air Jordan 1 Low. And it is a wilder colorway, but I will say I think they did a good job. These could have looked super trash. Some of y'all might think that they look basuda, but in my opinion, um, with the mismatch of shoes, colors, materials, it could have been a lot worse. I actually think they did a pretty good job keeping this one together. Now, will I be copping this joint though? More than likely, it'll be a pass for me. It looks clean, but I'll probably pass. Now for this next release, I was actually gonna have it on last week's Heater Hype, uh, but when it got to it, when I was editing through, it was just gonna take a little bit extra time that I really didn't have, so I left them off, but that is the undefeated Air Max 90. Now these dropped on December 27th, and apparently they're inspired by motocross jackets, which makes sense with a simple colorway, and then you got that strip of color the shoe now for me these is kind of whack they kind of weak well let me not say whack or weak let me just say you know they're not blowing me away but they aren't trash either is it one of the best undefeated shoes ever collabs ever of of course not would i take this shoe over something like matter of fact hold on would i take these over the undefeated 97s in either the black or this cream eggnog colorway no so again the 90s did drop 
they're okay. And I, I kind of want to just say they weak, they ass, like they just not that. But the colorway is not bad, it's just plain you know what i mean and this time again plain in a bad way next up we got another 2020 release now this one seems to be well pretty simple and it's a black and pink air jordan 8 right here we just have a mock-up let me check and this mock-up is again from z sneakerheads it's kind of an all black upper with a pink bottom uh if these drop i wouldn't be surprised if it was small feet gang only but uh, I wouldn't cop these I still got my aquas from 07 that are my favorite and i still got my playoffs and that's kind of good enough for me. And I got my uh, Chrome 8s up there as well that I can't wear from 03 or 02, whenever they drop. So yeah, in 2020, a new pair of 8s, black and pink. We'll just have to wait and see what these actually look like. Another Chinese New Year-esque release, we have the Nike Air LeBron 7 and the China Moon colorway, all over white and gold. Pretty clean, man. LeBron 7, they have some really, really dope colorways, and I think they're bringing back some good ones. Again, I even mentioned the LeBron 7 red carpet on my top 10 sneakers or my Christmas list video, so y'all can kind of tell I have been feeling some of these LeBron 7s, but these China Moons should be dropping on January 2nd, 2020. Again, another one for next year, which is, well, it's in a few days. Now, I left this next shoe off of Basuda of the Week because for some odd reason, I feel like with the right fit these could be kind of hard but it's a funny looking shoe so i guess for the runner-up of basuda we have the air Somebody jordan one this. mid and the disco ball edition colorway thing y'all see it i want to just say salutes to whoever hit that disco ball button in the meeting because this one is way out of left field just know they're gonna be dropping next year in 2020 and for a disco ball shoe i'm assuming it's gonna be for small feet gang only, but you know, we never know. Now for some solidified Basuda of the week, we have this brand new Air Somebody Jordan 10 wings. Now this colorway is trash, bro. I'm sorry, for a wings sneaker, we had the Air Jordan 5 wings, which was crazy, way better than this shoe right here. And again, let me stress, this is a rumor. Again, it might not look like this. And I hope, I hope, it does not look like this these again certified outlet specials unless they make them super super limited or something changes this is a certified outlet special for 2020 again no solid release date yet but honestly y'all don't need the release date because these shits is ass so yeah let's move on to the next one now the next one is interesting now this next show i'm gonna talk about kind of caused a lot of stir for a day or two on twitter seen a lot of people talking about it and it is this Somebody shoe right this. here now what it turns out to be is well i kind of figured that as soon as i saw it but some people really believed that it was coming out and the store's name i'm not going to try to pronounce it i'm gonna just put it up on the screen i'm pretty sure they kind of did this to get people talking but also kind of promote their store because they knew when they dropped this photo this shit was going to get reposted now of course this is a mix of the pure platinum yeezy 2 as well as this shoe right here which is the nike ISPA ISPA 720. Now it is in April, so I don't know if it was some type of late April Fools. Obviously, you know, this shoe is not dropping, but just imagine, imagine out of all the shoes that could drop, these shits right here are horrendous. These are a disgrace. If they did drop again to the original Nike Air Yeezy 2 and my favorite colorway of that shoe, in the pure platinum joints. So these are definitely certified by Suda. They're Garbola juice, they look terrible. But for anyone who hadn't seen it or was still kind of wondering or on the fence, trust me, bruh, these shits is not happening. I know y'all were going in on this joint, but these shits right here are like, these got Ebola, bruh. Like these shits is fucked up. I'm gonna let y'all go in on the comments on this shoe right here. So y'all can type down below and let me know how these look. We got one more shoe. It's not exactly on Basuda of the Week, but I just don't really think they look good from the photos I've seen so far. Now, earlier this week, it was some news kind of floating around, some rumors again of an Air Jordan 7 Oregon Ducks PE actually dropping. Now, what it seems to be was that the Oregon Ducks players got a pair of these Air Jordan 7s that you guys see. Now, for me personally, if you're a collector, okay, cool. But the actual shoe itself to me, it does not look good. Like, I get it. It's the Oregon Duck 7. Ah, PE. Ah, crazy. Exclusive. You can't get them. Okay, but the actual shoe itself, the yellow and green, 
all over the upper on the seven it just it don't come together good bro it's kind of about suit if i'm being honest now it might be some people that just call me a hater because i can't get the shoe and if you think that that's cool but to me for a pe shoe there's way better ones out there than this seven i know some people were hype about them possibly releasing as well if these shits released, I don't want them at all. I'm sorry. Like, for me, these, they, they, they buy suit over. That's it. Now, this next bit of news really came out of nowhere. Who remembers the Bel Air Air Jordan 5? I remember. I remember that release. I remember my little sister got them, and that's how I got to do a video on that shoes because she was out there. She camped out for a pair and got her a pair. Listen, when these Bel Air 5s dropped, it was a problem. It was crazy. The original pair. And now, as you guys can see, again, this is just a mock up, but. It should be coming back out in a white colorway. Now, I don't know if it's going to exactly look like this. And again, like I always say it, it's a rumor. But as it's seeming right now, a Bel Air theme Air Jordan 5 should be dropping next year. Now, I'm going to check after this video, but I wonder what Bel Air 5s go for today. Because I remember when they were hitting, them joints was hitting. So I'm pretty sure the people that remember that release or wasn't able to get that shoe back then, if they reach off a white pair with the same kind of color blocking, do I think it looks as good as the gray? Uh, not as good, but I could see people going for it regardless. Now we also got a look at Sean Witherspoon's new A6 Gel Light 3. And if you know about, well, well not if you know about, everyone knows about his 97. Now we have this A6 shoe and it's pretty similar. It's kind of the same thing. You got multicolor, you got corduroy, Seems like there's gonna be a lot of different patches and Velcro patches that you can throw on the shoe to kinda of switch up the panels, change up the colors, uh, and I don't really see anything wrong with it. Is it kinda of samey from what he did before? Yeah, but it worked. And we probably won't ever see that shoe from Nike again. So them bring it to kind of an ASIC. If he keeps doing stuff like that, that's kind of like his signature thing, the corduroy and the different colors and trying to make it so you can kind of customize the shoe a little bit, switch it up with Velcro. Some people might call it lazy, but that just might be his thing. That might be his lane. Other than that though, it's no real info. We just got these photos from, I'm pretty sure it's a round two show on YouTube or their video. So blam, y'all see him. So probably next year, he's be dropping. All right, so we got four more shoes. Of course, the last one, the biggest one we're going to save until the end but first up an oregon ducks air Jordan 5 could be dropping next year in 2020 again it's a leak it's a rumor this mock-up right here is from z sneakerheads and of course they have kind of replaced that oregon o on the tongue with a yellow jump man kind of reminds me of the michigan air Jordan 5s that dropped as well again we got the michigan joint so i wouldn't be surprised to see the oregon duck 5s come out next up we got kind of some heartbreaking news for me um, you guys know that that New Beginnings pack is dropping. We talked about that before. And as of right now, it's pretty confirmed that the OG85 Chicago Air Jordan 1 will not be dropping. The color code that they thought that was is that red and white or varsity red and white pair of Air Jordan 1s from that New Beginnings pack. So no, we will not be getting the Chicago's as of right now. You know, that could change, but I would like to have that 85 shape pair, but I will stick with the ones I already got again slight flex that was a flex another pair of ones for 2020 we have this black varsity red and white pair of ones now these are supposed to be retailing at 200 and it is that 85 air drone one with the 85 shape again it's red black and white very very similar to the shoe from the new beginnings pack but instead of white panels it's black panels i'm not sure if it's suede it could be leather right now we only got the uh plastic bag pick so i'm gonna let y'all you know do with that as y'all will let y'all think of that as y'all will the plastic bag pick so more than likely it will be dropping but again leaks rumors so more than likely we will probably be seeing this one next year in 2020 now to go ahead and end this one off with a bang virgil abloh next year we could be getting the canary yellow off-white air jordan one that we seen over at chicago i believe it was during that mca pop-up thing that he was doing we seen a few different off-white sneakers uh you know the fours those beige fours that i, I kind of like i would like him to drop those you had the off-white bread fours and now it seems that them yellow air jordan ones the off-white ones could be dropping i'm not gonna make the same mistake that i've kind of made with every other off-white air jordan one when this drops, more than likely, you know, I may have to just pay to play and make sure I have a pair. I honestly really like the yellow because it's not a regular Air Jordan 1 color. So as of right now, that's all we got. 
that's the possibilities we could be getting them canary yellow joints next year in 2020 make sure y'all drop a like on this bit much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.cb by the way here there blah blah of course my shoes are down there so bullet rc and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Y'all let me know, did I miss out on any Basuda this week? What was the favorite thing that you guys see this week? Or did you cop some? I know, you know, Christmas is around. Might have a little more, you know, cash on the hip to spend. So did you cop anything for yourself? Y'all let me know. Make sure y'all peep the latest haul video, bro. Got some major, major delayed Ws in that video. But listen, until next time, man, much love. As always, I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace. All the blue up in your phone. Once you won't leave me alone. Don't stick up on the cologne, yeah. Hit me when you get home. Over to the crib, I'll be back in a minute. Set my full name when I start deep in it. Shotty independent, she not deep in it. Shotty wanna talk, I stop, I listen. Running